This is one of several short classes on the features of a business research report. Each of the classes uh, is short and each one uh, is straightforward and also <coughs> each class is based on a much larger class that appears elsewhere in these notes uh, which will fill out in much more detail um, what each class is, is saying. But as far as we're concerned here we have several classes, short classes, which go to make up this one big uh, topic, features of a business research report. So in this uh, session we're going to look at the findings and conclusions of a business research report and talk briefly about what goes on within the findings and conclusions and why they're important. So first of all, <clears throat> findings should be clearly indicated and supported by collected data which should be ideally quantitative. Uh, quantitative data is seen as more reliable, it's seen as more objective. So the findings should be clearly indicated and supported by collected data. So the findings should not be just the whim of the, uh, the writer should not be just guesswork on the part of the writer. It should be based on collected data which ideally should be quantitative. It should present all of the relevant data. Um, the, <clears throat> all of the data should be looked at. So the, re the writer should not have the license to simply select the part of the data that suits his or her case or suits his or her point of view. So all of the data, the relevant data, should be uh, used and presented. The section is sometimes called the analysis. So it depends really on the project, um, it depends on the way it's set up and designed. Uh, in business the findings normally uh, must be based on the analysis of course, but, but normally those two sections are run together. Uh, it's much more uh, liberal in the way it's designed than, for example, an academic piece of work which would have one section for the analysis and one section for the findings. The analysis coming first. It should show the outcomes from the research and it may test the hypothesis there may be a hypothesis. The hypothesis could be a statement uh, given to the researchers by the management. The hypothesis is if we do the following will we increase sales? Now that's, that's a question but that's a question or hypothesis that needs to be addressed. That's what the, the purpose of the research, business research project perhaps is to do. So that is important. It may use a variety of presentation styles to illustrate the outcomes. For example, it could use charts, graphs, tables, all sorts of uh, ways of presenting the outcome. Of course, it may be printed off and bound up and presented in paper format, or it could be a business presentation using perhaps uh, presentation packages, business present presentation packages. So the findings is what uh, comes out of the analysis, comes out of the research work. And they should be objective, they should not be based on the views of the researcher and they should not be uh, misinterpreted either accidentally or deliberately by the readers to suit their own point of view. This is, or it should be, quite an objective uh, exercise. Now having got the findings, the next part is based on the findings. The next part is the conclusion, or the conclusions. It may be more than one conclusion, um, but the conclusions are based on the findings. The conclusions can't be based on anything else. So they're, they're drawn from the findings. Uh, 
they can't be drawn from anywhere else. That's the the purpose of the conclusions, or the conclusion is to say what the research has found, and what it's found is has been presented in the findings. That's what the research findings were. So the conclusions uh, state those. They should be directly related to the research objectives or hypotheses. Um, the conclusions should answer the question, the original research question, whatever that was. So the conclusion should address the research objectives. Uh, if it's addressing something else, then something has gone wrong. This piece of work has answered a question that was not asked. And that would that be sort of somewhat silly. So the research objectives um, should be the the focus of the discussion in the conclusions. The conclusion should be clearly explained as it's wrong to leave the interpretation of the results to the reader. So everything should be done for the reader. The results should be clearly and logically explained. And the conclusion should be based entirely on the analysis of the data. And this should be adequate to justify the conclusions. So the conclusions must be based entirely on the data on the analysis of the data. Nothing else. So that's our very brief discussion of uh, findings and conclusions, which is part of the business research report. And this is one class in a whole sequence or a whole series of classes, I should say, uh, which go to make up this topic. So let's leave it at that and say Thank you for watching.